Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back, here's Lily. And this video is the continuation of our week holidays here in Crete, Greece. And here are some of our experience going to the city, the nightlife, the food, and the native people here in Greek. Yeah, you yes, go for cocktails and I uh, hope you enjoy our my cocktails and uh, enjoy also your vacation here in our hotel. Vacation here in Crete can be so beautiful and so relaxing. It's just like sleep, eat, drink, swim, repeat. But hey, who can resist those delicacies and other food and specialties, especially here in Greece? There's also ice cream in between meals. So if you are like others who just want to stay in a hotel, it's up to you. But today, me and my family will just enjoy the evening and we will go tomorrow to the old city of Retemno. We pay here and book all inclusive so we don't need to worry how much are those drinks. We just enjoy. This is my meal food today and I got some french fries for my carbo. My husband got the noodle mm. and a red wines of course. Play billiard then it's time to sleep. The next morning we went to the city of Ritimno. The Guara Gate or the Great Gate was the main entrance to the old city of Ritimno during the Venetian period and it is the only surviving part of the ancient port race wall. Although many changes have occurred over the centuries, the Great Gate is still quite recognized today. The Church of Our Lady of Angel was built by the Dominican friars at the end of the Venetian period and dedicated to Mary Magdalene. Its unique color and magnificent architecture, you should definitely pay attention to the Church of Our Lady of the Angels, or as the locals call it, Mikre Panagia. This now white tree, Azel Basilica with the elegant bell tower built in a typical Renaissance style. It's located at the corner of Nikiporo Pog Street and Arampa Tsuglo Street near the Museum of History in Polk Art and Rimunde Fountain. Ritimno offers the perfect opportunity to connect and collect. The bustling yet intimate atmosphere of the old town beckons you into the colorful and vibrant market. Combine shopping with relaxing breaks in traditional taverns, charming restaurants, or a cozy cafe. The city is full of shops run by welcoming locals and artists, offering a wide variety of products from traditional Greek crops and souvenirs to modern fashion. There's a stylish side to the town with contemporary restaurants, cafes, bars, and some of the best hotels. For shopping, is it of course Ritimno Old Town. This medieval statement is great for strolling around and shopping as its fave paths are lined up with all kinds of shops from stores with clothes and shoes to jewelries, souvenir shops, and art galleries. 
shops in Ritimnu town stay open until late at night. Create a charming atmosphere in the evening. You can find many treasures in the stores like locally made products, multi-language books, brand passions, shoes, cosmetics, and unique jewelry at its very fair price. And all with a warm greet and hospitality in customer service from the individual shop. We stroll in the narrow streets of the historic center and discover unique small shops with exceptional handmade items of local artists and designers such as jewelries, fabric, leatherworks, ceramics, art galleries, and antique shops. Sorry. Here you'll find a honeycomb of cobbled alleyways and narrow streets, dappled with shade from overhanging vines and bougainvillea. Just a reminder, don't accept the flower. That will cost you a lot. <laughs> so you'll come out the pool, you'll see that big The shopping area is located in the center of the city and nearby, there are many parking areas in a central bus station. Stores are open from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., with exception of Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Souvenir shops are open every day, all day long. They are lined with cute cafes, shops selling local crops and restaurants, dishing up the best Cretan food and Greek dishes. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure, Moshe yeah, is a must to see when you are here in the old town of Ritimno. The Moshe, also known as Gasi Hussein Moshe, is found close to Pichiaki Square. Initially, it was a Venetian chart dedicated to Santa Maria and later on it became an Augustinian monastery. However, when the Turks dominated the town in 1657, their leader, Gassi Hussein Pasha, turned it into a moshe. As part of the reconstruction, three more homes were built in a minaret with two balconies for praying. Its minaret is the highest in town, although it is in state of preservation today. The chapel of the Christ close to Moshe was being used as a religious school. In 1925, when Crete had got free from the Ottomans, the Moshe was turned again into a Christian church dedicated to Agios Nikolaos. But it never actually functioned as a church. Today, Mirage Moshe houses the municipal audience run by the Ritimno Association for the promotion of the arts. Music lessons are held there as well as musical concerts.
How many? Makoy photo. Just like people with you. No ribbon, huh? The narrow alley reminds me of Venice, especially those flowers in the houses here. Strolling around this historic neighborhood is a must. You feel like you've been transported back in time to a different era as you admire the beautifully preserved building, churches, and monuments. Walking around the old town of Richimno is one of the best ways to get to know the area. You will discover its narrow alleyways, picturesque corners, architectural treasures, old mansion, and distinct traces of the conquerors who passed through here. It's very common nowadays to share handcrafted items as gifts. As a matter of fact, these items have always been part of the Cretan tradition and make beautiful in memory field additions to your home decor a lasting souvenir of your trip abroad let's walk farther and go to the Rimunda fountain there's also a lot of cafes and restaurants here near the Rimunda fountain This fountain is a beautiful Venetian monument that dates back the 17th century. Located in the center of Old Town, it's a popular meeting spot for locals and visitors alike. The fountain is adorned with carved lion heads and features three spouts that represent the three seasons of the Cretan year. The warm temperature here in Ritimno make us really tired and thirsty. So we're looking for the best place where we can sit. And then we found this narrow street and somebody told us that it is going to the famous lighthouse. A walk fast this alongside the water will have the owners enticing you in to eat or for a refreshing drink. The other restaurants in the town's alleyways aren't quite as pricey, but the views of the Venetian port by the waterside and the fresh fish dishes are the best. Calamera! A picturesque and lively spot that's worth a visit at any time of the day. Take a walk along the wayside and admire the traditional fishing boats yaks and colorful buildings that line the waterfront if you're lucky you might catch a glimpse of the local fishermen mending their nets or unloading their cuts in the evening the harbor comes alive with music laughter and the delicious aroma of grilled seafoods The lighthouse of the Venetian harbor of Ritimno is the second largest remaining Egyptian lighthouse in Crete, after the lighthouse of Shania Harbor. It is built on the edge of the old harbor of Ritimno and it can be accessed very easily. The lighthouse we see today was built during the Egyptian occupation of the Crete in the decade of 1830. 
when the Turks handed Crete to Egyptians, possibly there was an older Venetian lighthouse in the site, just like Chania. The lighthouse is not operating. The hot temperature of this month of July make us really tired and so we decided to just go to the next corner and the rest we will see if we can come back here again next day. About 8.30 in the evening, we're back again here into our hotel and we have a different program this evening, Karaoke Night. Just right on time for our dinner before the Karaoke Nights begins. Third day here in Amnesis Residence, and these are the desserts. These are our dinner for today, the third day here. We also have the rice. One with okra, some salt. Hello, my chats. Blue Lagoon? Yes. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Say it in Norway. Hi. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching and good night.